Hey everybody, I'm SK, and welcome to this week's episode of the Hunting Grounds Vlog. Now, uh, I want to try and make this one short, uh, only because I've spent enough time in front of the camera this week. Uh, I'm a little tired of being in front of the camera. But, I did want to uh, share a few things with you. Uh, so, I'm going to start with our current prop progress. Our tombstone, our death's head tombstone, has been put on hold. I'll pick that up again maybe in a couple of weeks uh, after we've got a few other things done. I do want to get started. Uh, I want to get working on that uh, grave digger. I'm sorry, groundbreaker. Uh, and try and get that finished and uh, so that I can share some of the uh, corpsing techniques with you. Um, we were able this week to get our other tombstone finished. So there you have it. There is the uh, tombstone I've been working on and uh, is actually the subject of all of my video time this week. I spent uh, quite a bit of time in front of the camera showing the complete weathering process of that tombstone and uh, took about three days. You wouldn't know it took three days because I'm wearing the same clothes. Yes, I washed my clothes, but uh, I didn't want it to appear like it took a long time because really the uh, the process doesn't take a long time. It's just all the messing around with the camera and uh, getting the shots right and, and um, me fumbling over words all the time and cursing and turning the camera off and restarting the camera. But uh, what was me? Anyways, uh, I didn't want those videos to be a be all and end all of uh, how a tombstone is done, how, how the weathering is done, it's just my uh, my techniques and I wanted to share that with everybody. Hopefully people get something out of it. So if you want to see how this is done, go check out those videos. The second half is actually uploading right now. So by the time you're watching this, those will be uh, done. Um, I also wanted to mention that uh, I'm really bad sometimes at replying to comments. So I try to reply to everybody who comments on my videos. If I didn't reply, it's nothing personal, really. It's, uh, yeah, unfortunately, sometimes I get myself a little too busy for my own good. And it's not always with Halloween stuff either. But, um,. I do want to reply to everybody's comments. If I missed your comment, I apologize. Um, usually if I missed your comment, I probably missed everybody else who commented within a specific time frame on that video, so it's not just you. Um, and going back to this tombstone, the tombstone videos, I'm going to try not to answer any questions in the comment section, but if you have any questions that uh, I didn't answer because those videos are not completely thorough. There's a lot of stuff that I had to cut out just because the videos are getting a little too long. It, uh, that's why there's two of them. It was, uh, yeah, I was editing the video hoping it would be one video and I uh, got to be about 45 minutes and I was only halfway through the painting process. So I'm like, nah, nobody's going to sit here and watch this thing for 45 minutes. So we better split it in two. So, I figure two half hour videos are a little easier to swallow than one one hour video. And uh, if you have questions, please ask them. Ask them right in the comment section of the video. And I will do my best to answer every question in the following week's vlogs. So if you have a question, ask it. And then look for the answer on the vlogs. Because uh, it'll just be easier for me to share that with everybody. And I'll try and reference which week's vlog it went into too. All right. Um, again, I want to keep this kind of quick, so we're gonna run through our, uh, our subscribers for this week. Yes, I have 10 new subscribers this week, which puts me ever closer to the 100 mark. It's not the 1 million mark that I was looking for, but um, baby steps, right? So, this week's new subscribers, and again, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing them right. Drop Dead, thank you for subscribing. 
And that's uh, with six O's in the drop. Uh, Kukali83, thank you for subsribing. Uh, Vsightful, thank you for subscribing. Blue American Monkey, interesting username. Thank you for subscribing. John CG14, thanks for subscribing. Vol Scalker, thank you for subscribing. A Smarter You, I hope so. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, John Posty, thanks for subscribing. Uh, Haunted, I'm sorry, Haunted Hot Sauce, thank you for subscribing. I actually mispronounced that when I wrote it down on here saying it to myself. And Brett Weir, 007, thanks for subscribing. Those last four subscribers were actually a result, I believe, of our uh, first of the two uh, tombstone weathering videos. So thanks, everybody. Thanks for checking out those videos. Thanks for watching my vlog. All right, one last thing for this week's uh, vlog, and that is the muchly anticipated what's in the box. Yeah, sorry, our mysterious voice is uh, on vacation this week. This week's box, it's a small one. That doesn't mean it's not a good one. All right. We have a little pumpkin house that uh, I believe you put a tea light inside this and the windows light up. Isn't that cute? I've got a lot of kitschy Halloween crap. We have a uh, Oh, this is one wicked bowl. I know because it says so right there. Candy dish. Oh, we have our uh, Sculpey pumpkins. I made these pumpkins uh, middle of last year. Made out of Sculpey clay, painted with craft paint. I was going to start selling these and uh, just didn't. That was the first one I did. I'm sure if that one's in here, then the other two are probably in here. And they are. There was pumpkin number two. That was the second of our uh, Sculpey clay pumpkins. And Sculpey Clay Pumpkin number three, who had a little smiling worm up on top of his stem that uh, broke off. So I'm not sure where he went. And he needs a little bit of a touch up. But otherwise, there's Sculpey Clay Pumpkin number three. And that was all I did. I just did those three pumpkins to start with. And, uh, Again, I was going to try and start selling them, but uh, it just didn't happen. Oh, we have uh, the Yankee Candle Glass Jar Light Candle Lamp Shade Thingy Mahocher. Yeah, that's it. This goes on top of one of those Yankee Candle jar candles and looks nice. Oh, I did four, not three. Ah, oh, I forgot about this one. This was uh, the fourth of our Sculpey Clay Pumpkins. 
And actually, I think this was the uh, second one I did. But I don't remember now. <clears throat> and finally, another candle jack-o'-lantern ceramic thing. And if I remember correctly, my mother made this for me. So thanks, Mom. Appreciate it. And that's what's in the box. Now, one last little tidbit that uh, I wanted to share. I was able to eliminate one thing from my list of things to do, that being the tombstone video. So, I've added something else. I have these little skulls here, and uh, this was bought, I have two of these. This was bought, it's a fish tank decoration. It was bought uh, to decorate my tank that uh, I showed off in uh, our first vlog. It sat in there for uh, a couple of days, and I noticed that the paint started chipping off. So, this is supposed to be designed for a fish tank, but it didn't work well. So, out they came. I, I took them both out and, uh, well, we're going to use this. I'm going to make a little imp to go along with my witches. So, look for that coming up too. We're going to take this skull, we're going to mount it on a little tiny frame, a little tiny body, and make ourselves a little spooky imp. And that's it for this week. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget the uh, subscribe button. It's up there. You know where it is. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, thanks for watching. Until next, I'm SK.